What's up, Triple J family? What's up, guys? Once again, it's your girl, Jane, and I am back with another one. Bam! There I go. Yes, guys, I am back with another one. As you guys can see, got me some crab legs. Yes, 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 some crab legs. But anyway, guys, before I get this video started, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Triple J family. Anyways, before I get started, um, happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Yeah, that Friday. None of my Fridays. I ain't got to get up. I ain't got to do none of that tomorrow. Just lay back and relax, like always. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm hungry. Let me see my grace. Amen. Anyway, guys, I have me some uh, snow crab legs. I got some potatoes and I got me some eggs. Don't have me no corn because I ain't feel like going outside. It is cold outside. And I ain't wanna be out there in that mess. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna be out there. It's cold. I only go outside if I have to, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Mm -hmm. I got me some butter and garlic. I love them, but I hate this part. I hate it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Let me see. I just want to do a story time with you guys about. I didn't even know which one I wanted to do. I didn't know if I want to do this one. I didn't know if I want to do that one. But, anyways, I'm just going to get to talking. And see where it take me. Anyway, guys, I want to tell you guys about this story about when I had moved away. As a matter of fact, I had just got out of a relationship, to be honest with you. I had been in a relationship for nine, nine and a half years. Yeah, nine and a half. We were together nine and a half years. And I had, we had broke up. So I had moved away. And... When I moved away, I decided I just wanted friends. Yeah, friends. So, I think I had too many friends, to be honest with you. But anyways, all the male guys, they were male friends. And they was cool with it. You know. I would just love to know. I don't want no relationship, but if you want to be my friend, you want to hang out, kick it, go out to eat, have fun, that type of stuff, I'm down for it. But please don't claim me as your girlfriend because I am not your girlfriend. Real talking, if you see me in public with somebody else, please don't get mad because I am not your girlfriend. As long as you got that understanding with a person, I think you can go real far. When it comes to that type of stuff. Because I did. My sister told me. That. That wasn't going to work. But. To me guys. Honesty. Is the key. 
if you know you out there and you just like, well, basically, I really wasn't looking for to be in a relationship because I had just got out of one, to be honest with you, Al. I just wanted friends. Somebody to hang out with, kick it, you know, go bowling, to the movies, stuff like that. But these guys understood. They really did. They understood. But it's always that one particular person out of the bunch that got to act, that just got to act the ass. Just for real. Just got to act like that. Now, let me see. I had about one, two, three. Probably about four, maybe five. I ain't gonna even lie. Maybe five male friends that I just hang out with. You know, one nothing sexual, nothing like that. We we're just kicking and having fun. But it's always that one particular person that get caught up in their feelings and think that it's more than what it is. And I was like, wow. I had a party, guys. Now, <laughs> my sister said I shouldn't have did it. <laughs> Not that I think about it, I shouldn't have did it. I invited them all. I really did. I invited every last one of them. To, the, to my little get-together, you know. Had a little get-together, cook out and everything. I invited them all. So, my sister was like, girl... You know, such a such a person here, I don't want to say their names. But such a such a person here, I'm like, yeah, okay. I ain't telling them I'll be out there. Whatever. Ooh, ooh. Next thing you know, my sister come flying back in, in the back, because I was in the back barbecuing. Girl, such a such here too, girl. It's going to be some stuff up in here. I said, no, it ain't. They already know about each other. And they did. They knew about each other. But it's always just that one that just can't take it to see you laughing and talking with another male and just get beside himself. I'm like, baby, bye, bye. Everybody else was cool. They was all cool. They all sitting there laughing, having fun, eating, laughing and enjoying, you know, enjoying the whole little festivities, basically. Just enjoying the whole scenery. I was up that one particular person. I mean, when I say he act, he clowned, he clowned. And I'm like, hold on, dude. You is not my boyfriend. You ain't my man. You ain't nothing but a friend. And so it just, he just, he, he really did. He showed his, he showed his another side I had never seen before. And I said, okay, we're going to have to cut you off. Which I didn't cut him off. <laughs> he wouldn't let me. <laughs> he was still my friend. Don't tell me. If I knew you was going to invite them, I would have came. Okay. Now I know you the one that can't handle the pressure. Okay. Now I know. But anyway, guys, I thought I was wrong for that. Just having all of them in one place at one time. Mm -hmm. Comment down below and tell me what you think. Because <laughs> I didn't think I was wrong. We had an understanding from the beginning that we were just friends. Hanging out, kicking it, having fun. That's it. Then I had already said that I wasn't looking for no relationship because I had just got out of one. I didn't want to be tied down. I didn't want to go do, do none of that no more. I just wanted to be free. Where I could just go and come as I please. I ain't got to worry about where yet. When you come home, all that old extra stuff, mm -mm. I was just doing me. I'm telling you. And that was like the best year ever when I first moved. What did, oh, when I moved, I moved to Indianapolis. That's why I moved to Indianapolis, Indiana. I moved out there, and it was the, man, the best year ever. I mean, really, literally, the best year ever. Being single, too? Oh, my goodness. 
Couldn't tell, couldn't tell your girl nothing. Couldn't tell me nothing. I'm telling you. Couldn't tell me nothing. I was in the club every week. <laughs> but I still made it to work, though. <laughs> My boss say, you need to party on the weekend. Mm -hmm. I got to go on Thursday, because Thursday is ladies' night. So, and then Friday, okay, this is the last day of work, because we off on the weekend anyway. So, I'm cool. <laughs> but, man, that was the coolest boss ever. I swear he was the coolest. He'll see me coming in, and he'll be like, Hey, guys. <laughs> go put a pot, go put on a pot of coffee. <laughs> Here, here comes Jane. <laughs> no, she been partying the whole night. The whole hell. I mean, the coolest. He was the coolest boss ever. Cause he used to be in there sometimes, twisted himself. <laughs> like you and the wife, you had a good time there. I'm like, yeah, we was up drinking wine all night. <laughs> coolest boss ever. to a uh, Black History now, I'm like Black History Month was last month but they still doing like these little plays and stuff and plus she's in this dance um, top, what is it called? Top 10 dance group that she's in and her coach is taking all of them to see this um, Black History play that they're putting on today so she's probably not going to go her grandma's today she probably go tomorrow because by the time she get back from the play it's gonna be kind of late and uh yeah she'll be at home with her mama now Jamika might go but she, I know she's not gonna go because she's she don't like going without Jada that's one thing about them too they is so close they like boom and I like that Man, my sister was like that, too. We were still like that. She just don't live here. She live in a whole different state. But we still like that. We talk to each other every day. Um, we make sure we okay. Woo. Did I do that? Yes, I did. <laughs> I almost knocked this whole plate down. I would have been highly upset. Yes, I would have been highly upset. Hopefully this weekend, I can go. Get some things done while the girls are gone. Uh, yeah, I gotta go to the barber shop. Probably gonna take you guys along with me to the barber shop. Then I wanna go to the mall. And your girl, I just want, I don't know. I'll just go find me some new shoes or something. I don't know. Trick myself to something. Good. 
another story time I'm going to take out about family members. Some of your family members can be the worstest ever. Whew, the worstest. And I got a couple of them in my family. And they could be at their worst. watching on the news they just still mess with that man R. Kelly. R. Kelly long. Leave that man alone. Hey. Leave the girlfriend say he didn't hold him captive. The mama of them did that crap so hey. Mm -mm. So hey. Bottom, mm -hmm. I'm doing butter everywhere. I'm gonna be lonely this weekend. No, I'm not. I just just forgot the bottle about it. Jada will be here. I don't know about Jamaica. Jamaica might be like, nope, I'm staying home with you. But these crab legs is good. I'm gonna try to try to find me some um what is that? The king, I think the king crab legs. Try to find me some of those. The big ones, I'm probably gonna have to go to the market and find me some of those. I'm not sure I've realized what time it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I saw him with some of this. I'm gonna say this for him. I just realized the time, guys. I'm gonna have to cut this video. Kind of a little short there. Because I have an appointment that I have to be at. And I don't wanna be late. But I did have to give me some to eat because the girl was hungry.
Okay, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to the Triple J family. Go ahead, guys, I'm waiting. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll let you, girl. Peace.